Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Battletech, and we'll be picking up right where we left off in the last video. I don't know if we're going to continue with tutorials after this point. I personally think that what they gave us there was not that strong of a tutorial, so if you're new to this game, then... This game does have, uh, you know, a little bit of a learning curve to it, and hopefully I can showcase some of the strategy and different mechanics that this game has. Alright, here we go. Command interface initiated. I'm going to miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead, the city gates, and my future all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? Guard post, one of the small ones that dot the roads leading into the capital. But the emergency bands have been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Okay, so we are currently... Not in uh, combat. This is uh, the out-of-combat phase, so it doesn't really matter uh, who we move in what order. Let's take a look at what we've got. So we've got a Centurion, we've got a Kentaro, and we've got my Blackjack. So, all media mechs here. So, let's go ahead and move on up here. And we'll uh, put him up in the woods here. We'll put her up. Now, what is her loadout? Okay, seems typical. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. You think it was an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubber? Ru rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of there, uh, here, Kamea. Right now. Yes. I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard max up ahead. We should go to them. Okay, well, I... Thank you, Raju. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Of that, I have no doubt. I have a feeling that those guys up ahead are not good guys. Yeah, we don't... We still don't have jump jets, so... I'll have to see how that goes. Okay. So we have to move up there? Okay. So I'm guessing nothing's going to really happen until that happens. I'll just go ahead and go straight down the road. No reason to go in another direction than that. Sounds good. I'm moving. Now, I suspect that those guys are going to be enemies or going to turn into enemies soon. Maybe not. All right. He's Centurion. Okay, AC-10. Meteorizers and an LRM-10. And when you're not in combat, it defaults to sprint. As well. We'll have her go up top here. And I'm not 100% on how line of sight's going to work here if we do have a fight on our hands. I think I should have the blackjack follow. Alright. Go ahead and move up here. The Centurion. And I want to see if anything happens once we get in there, so I'm going to wait. Hail, Mastiff. Hail, Lady uh, Arano. We were preparing for Lady Arano's coronation parade when we got word of a disturbance along the Cor uh, Cormorant Road. The guard post behind us was attacked. Sir Raju found evidence of laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Hi, all the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll fall in behind you and guard your six. Tell me something, Guardsman. If the road is clear, 
Why is your metal battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Rano's safety. Safety now, my lady, if you'll come with us. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out for parade duty in that condition. I am your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl. We don't have time for this. Take them. Kill the old man and the mech warrior. Uh, take Lady Urano alive. Hold okay. Back, Get behind us. You didn't train me to cower, Rush. You trained me to fight. All right. So now we're in the combat. Okay. That was sloppy, lad. Ah, so yeah. Um, they're pretty heavily damaged, so this is probably not going to be that difficult to do. So, now we're in the the initiative phase system. So, he's going to go first, and then our other mechs are going to go in the next phase of three. So, it starts with five, then it goes four, and then so on. Their mech, being a lighter mech, went first, so it was an initiative five. So, let's go ahead and click him, because he's the only one that we can uh, command at this point. Now, honestly... He's going to do a little bit better at kind of medium ranges, not really uh, super close in. So we're going to set up for that. Uh, I'm going to kind of play around with getting my range. So you can see the range brackets here of where weapons can target. So I'm just going to go ahead. I believe right click should cancel the move. Hmm. Maybe escape. There we go. Move just a slightly back. Make sure he's in the range brand that band that I want. And then we click again to make him move there. Okay. Now we're going to fire. As we can see, the chances to hit over in the lower right. Uh, and does he have the ability to multi-target? He does. Uh, let's go ahead and multi-target here. So I'm going to choose U as A and U as B and A. Uh, we want the medium lasers to be on A and I'll switch the these two to B. So you can see the LRM-10 has a little bit better to hit at that longer range, probably because he was just in the minimum range. I tried to move in a way that he wouldn't be like that, but this is going to be a little bit more effective here. So we're going to go ahead and fire. And considering these guys are damaged, we may actually do some pretty good, uh... Okay. Now there... Shadowhawk's gonna be able to go. Probably gonna open up on my Centurion, I would imagine. Okay, he took some pretty good damage there. All right. Now, Kamea is going to be able to do a lot of damage. Now, you'll note that I don't have them. Well, I don't know if it sets it up just yet. But I don't. I shouldn't have the multi-target ability. Now, if I move there, I'll have line of sight, but it will be blocked. If I move here, I'll have better line of sight of both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Seems like that's as far as we can get where I am right now. Unless I sprint. Because it's just the train involved. So, go ahead and do that. Do I want to move a little bit further? Because it seems like we'll just be on the outside of my range. All right, we'll go with this. AC2s are very long ranged, but my other weapons are not really within range. So, I'm going to go after the Panther here, who doesn't have any evasion. You'll note the bars here, because this guy just moved. He has a bunch of evasion. So, this guy's going to be the better target. So, again, AC2s. Are there anything in range? So, that's the only thing that's going to fire. Let's go ahead and fire those. A little bit more damage. Now, Kameo's mech is very powerful at closer ranges, so we're definitely going to want to close that distance and get into that range. Uh, it doesn't... I'm not sure what ability she has just yet. I don't know if she'll have multi-targeted or not. But we may just want to take out the panther here. She does have multi-target, but I don't know if that's the, the wise move.
I think I'm going to use it nonetheless. We're going to make you A and you B. And I'm going to switch the LRM5 to B for sure, because it... I mean, it's a little less chance to hit, but we do want to get burned through his evasion charges. And I think I'm going to put the... Well, note that it's going to build up a lot of heat. That's the one problem with her mech. It builds up heat very fast. I think I'm going to switch these to B as well. It's it's not as good of a ch hit chance, but the SRM is going to do a lot of damage, maybe taking the Panther out. That's what we prefer to have happen, obviously. Let's go ahead and fire. This unit has been kept in such a poor condition that it barely holds together. It carries only 25% of its normal armor. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Go ahead and fire. Handling multiple opponents. Here come the missiles. And it's dead. Here come the laser and missiles. That probably wasn't going to kill, but still, it puts him in a state that now he's a little he's a little roughed up and easier to hit, so that... You've got my attention. Mm, we could use sensor lock, which would give our other mechs a better chance to hit him, but then he would go. And we really would prefer not to have that happen. I'm not close enough to punch him. So we could stay still or we could continue to move. If I stay still, my LRM-10 is probably not an ideal range. So I'm going to back up just a little bit. Actually, no, we're probably fine where we are. So let's go ahead and just attack. And I'm going to hit him with everything I've got here. There's no reason not to do that. Affirmative. Fortunately, he's still standing, but we did knock him unsteady. Now, we are guarded, which is going to reduce the amount of damage we take here. But we have had our armor burned through, which is bad. That shot went internal. Okay, let's go ahead and have... Well, I'm, I'm going to do my mech first. Just because it's going to be, you know, I'm only going to be able to move so far. It's kind of a slower mech here, so... We're going to move up. We're going to take our AC2 pot shots. Fire away. Now, this guy's a little bit bigger. He's going to take a little bit more of a pounding to, to knock down, but... Tell me what you need. Kamea here should be able to knock him down. What's the state of his... All right, so he's kind of messed up on this side. We may be able to take him out by knocking, uh, knocking into him. You notice the circles here? Those are the arcs. So if I move there, you'll note that I'm in his side arc. And that would be his left side and that's his left arm so his left arm has no armor so uh, what's in his left arm a medium laser okay that did knock out some of his firepower so we're gonna go with that and we're gonna fire away here now i'm gonna turn off the lrm5 at this range it's not gonna be effective and we're gonna fire everything else we will overheat a little bit so i can turn off some of my weapons Let's turn off the SRM-6 here, that it has a little bit less chance of hitting. Here we're still within heat. Let's go ahead and fire. Discharging weapon. And there we go, we got the kill. Unit down. Kamea? Kamea, can you hear me? Alexander, we were just attacked, the Royal Guard. My own Guardsman tried to take me a prisoner. It's happening here, too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Carasa's house guard just got gunned down in front of me. The Tourney Pavilion is a slaughterhouse. Won't let these seditionists, or whoever they are, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push on the capital. I'll take the throne by force if I must. Okay, we have to go to this township, to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I heard Lord Decimus send his house guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet me at the tourney grounds. Be safe. You heard a Mastiff. Your township. We'll go there, rally our fighters, and march on the southern gate with an army at our back. Mia, know that you and Lord Madeira are friends. We can't take what he told you on faith. Right now, we don't know who we can trust. 
In this case, we do. Alexander has been my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life and yours. Now take me to the armory. As you can't command, my lady. Traitors in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. Follow me. Keep close and remember your training. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. Okay. We have to go over there. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, start following, I guess, this road here. Now, I don't know if I really want that Centurion to continue to uh, be in the front, so... Acknowledge. I'm moving. I also need my Blackjack to catch up, so... Probably going to slow down a little bit for, for him to catch up. For right now, I'm not going to move full distance. I'm just going to move a little bit. We're going to put her in the woods here. I'm moving out. Oh, we got enemy contact. Got another hostile on screen. Fortunately, this gives me an opportunity to cool off. Okay, so we got... Looks like vehicles up ahead. And we are now in the combat phase. So when are they moving? We have two that move in this phase. I don't see any more. Oh, no, they're very faint. Two here. Okay. So let's have... Oh, he's up. Let's have him just... Actually, wait. Yeah, let's reserve. We'll wait. We'll let the enemy come forward. Right now, they're in the woods, so we do want them to come forward. Okay, there's one. Um, I guess we might as well reserve again. This is something you can do to kind of wait for your enemy to do what they're going to do. Okay. This guy has one evasion charge. I still think we should reserve here. I don't know if they have vision of me yet. And that's the best call if they can't see me. Because if they do have any long range indirect fire, they could use that if they could see me. But if they don't have that line of sight, then um, they won't be able to do that. Okay. So we only see one of the enemy right now. Orders. And we do have the ability to uh, attack indirectly ourselves. Trying to set up the best situation for that. I mean, obviously, we'd want cover. Now, this guy has, I believe, the bulwark trait. Because it did seem like we got guarded when we didn't move. It's, it, I can't really... It's not marked anywhere on his character. Unless uh, maybe I right-click to get information. Uh, no. What about if I right-click here? Yeah, I don't know what his abilities are, so... Kind of hard to say. I don't want this to go away as well. Oh well. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just going to set myself up in the woods. For the future. Because there's ways of getting around. And we have a 70% chance of hitting this guy, which isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at these vehicles. So, ramshackle again, and weak against melee. Okay, so we want to, you know, punch and kick the, well, I guess, kick. Units like that. Let's go ahead and fire our LRM-10. Roger. So this is an element of indirect fire. Damn you for making me do that, son. Damn you. We didn't have direct line of sight. Now, unfortunately... By killing that guy, I don't really have a move for my other units because I don't have line of sight established. So that's okay. We do kind of need to move some of my units into a better position. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to move into cover here. We want them to kind of come into the pass so that we can ambush them more or less. And then I'm going to use brace to give me a little bit more defense. 
And then we're going to go yes, with Kamea, and we're going to have her back up a little bit, so they have to come to her. Um, let's uh, use the... They get rid of the reverse move. There used to be a reverse move. They may have gotten rid of it. But I don't want to give them my back if I can avoid it. So this is going to be the best move I can make right now. Right through the building. <laughs> okay, and we'll go ahead and brace up with her as well. Okay, we're going to reserve again. Let them come to me. Okay, and they can see Kamea, so they burn through what evasion she had. Now, that guy's just given line of sight, so we probably want to take him out if we can. Um, let's, let's switch to Kamea. And... Actually, there, there's a couple different uh, plays that I have here. Let's not do her. Let's do my character. See if I can establish line of sight. I can if I move here. And I'm still being cover, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll take a shot at this guy. If we can kill him, whatever line of sight he's establishing will not be for the guys that are further back. So that's the idea. Let's go ahead and fire. Okay, unfortunately, we missed that one, but... We didn't really need that much damage, it appears. Okay, we're going to reserve again because they do not have line of sight at this point. See, that's kind of the strategy here. This guy's more than likely not going to be able to move far enough to get line of sight. Now we reserve again. Allow this last guy to go. He may be able, because he's a little bit further up, but he didn't give line of sight to his own friendly. So any indirect fire this guy may have is not going to be used. And we didn't use her because we wanted her defense to still be useful. Okay. So, at this point, You've got my attention. I'm just gonna go ahead, more or less keep him where he is, and we'll use indirect fire against this guy. Here we go. These guys seem to be pretty weak, so. Okay, he didn't die. Now we could keep her hair here, Standing by. or we could move up. And go, go at him. Which, honestly, I think I would like to do. So. I think we just go straight down the road. I'll do what you ask. And I'll try and use a multi-target here to kill them both if I can. So, multi-target. Uh, you will be the A, and you will be the B. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, set U to B, because that just makes sense. Uh, the SRM-6 is on A. Uh, U can be on A as well. And the medium lasers on B. So we've got B, and we've got A. This is probably overkill on A. As a matter of fact, I'm going to sling one of these at... I think that's the one that is the most damage. Let's... I mean, sorry, the highest chance to hit. Yeah, let's sling like that. So two SRM-6s on this guy, and then the rest on the other guy, who hasn't been hit yet. Let's see what happens. That guy is really dead. SRM-6s are very devastating weapons. Yeah. Okay. Not too surprising. They didn't have a lot of armor. Vehicle destroyed. All right. We do have the concern of ammo supplies, obviously. Hmm. Want to have this guy go up that way? Looks like we can go up this path here. Not 100% on that, but we'll try. Affirmative. This is where jump jets would be very useful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move her into the woods. I'm going to try and get my blackjack to catch up. Because we are quite a ways away. Now, again, blackjack has very long range, so... Us being back like that is alright, because we are more or less fire support. We do have a pretty good close range arsenal and the four medium lasers that we've got, but... Yeah, we can go up here, so I'll go ahead and do that. We don't have much in the way of cover, but we should have block of line of sight because of the rocks and what have you. Uh, again, I'm not going to go fully forward because I do want to be able to get my blackjack up there if I can. Move into this cover here. Oh 
Okay. Well, as I said before, I don't really know if I want to have, have him move in the front at the moment. Okay, we can't get there just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and move here. We should be able to move in there next turn. Location confirmed. We'll have him move into the woods. Come here, come here. Do you read me? Es Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? House Espinosa is uprising, uh, uh, usurping the throne. It can't be. My uncle? Victoria? Kamea, I just watched an Espinosan battle mech plow through an alley full of civilians. This is happening, and it's happening now. Your loyalists have fallen back to the market district. That's where they're making their stand. What's left of the Royal Guard are doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, gods! Ah. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay. So, go ahead and move into the woods here. Moving out. Guessing that was some kind of orbital strike? Or maybe artillery? Oh, okay. Turret. Oh, all right. Well, how can we move? I guess we still go with the cover here. It's over, Kamea. Your ascendancy, your Rana legacy, all of it. Victoria, what have you done? You know, Kamea, for years I loved you like a sister, but then my father helped me see it. Your family's complacency. What it's done to the Reach. Our nation dwindles like a dying star, and House Serrano is to blame. My father offered you a path to glory. I'd have fought under your banner proudly, served as your strong right hand. It was like a knife in my heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria. I thought you better than this. You taught me lies, Kamea. For the love that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare an old man and his mech warrior if you stand down now. I don't want to see you hurt, but you cannot be allowed to rule. I'll see, I'll see you hanging for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You are traitors to the Reach, and I will fight you to the last. And you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but... You've cost your royal escort their lives. All right, here we go. Attention, all Espinosa forces. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me to deal with. Okay, so we've got... A cicada, we've got a locust, and a spider, all of which are beat up. These are mechs that normally do not have much in the way of armor anyway. And because they're ramshackle, they don't have any armor. So, I mean, this is going to be not so good for them. Um, all right. So, we've got two of their mechs that are going to be going soon. It's possible... Oh, yeah, it actually shows you at what point they go. So, the two lighter mechs are going to go... Uh, after he goes, if I move him now. And then the cicada will go uh, on three. So, usually speaking, you go back and forth until you resolve a particular initiative phase, and then you go on to the next one, and then you go back and forth. That's kind of the way that the initiative system works. Orders. Uh, at this token, honestly, we could just stay right where we are and open up on these guys. I'll hit the two guys that are going to be moving this initiative phase and try and kill them both. I mean, the kind of fire we're, we're putting on them and the fact that they aren't moving is going to be devastating. So we're going to go ahead and just use multi-target now. We're going to make... Uh, I don't know if I... I guess I'm in range. Yeah. Make you A. Make you B. Uh, I'll put the LRM-10 on B. Uh, and the AC-10... Okay, we'll put one medium laser on one and one medium laser on the other, and then the AC-10 on the Locust. So we're kind of splitting our fire here. Let's go ahead. Hopefully we get good hits. Yeah. That's really not a good day for him. Blew up both his arms. And blew off his uh, one of his arms there. 
Okay, here comes their locust. Not a very good camera angle for that. <laughs> Looks like they're going after the Kintaro. Which is fine. Uh, I don't think that, that she's been hit much so far, and uh, she does have good armor. And then there goes the spider. I uh, don't really want our Centurion to keep getting hit, but he does have my armor. a guarded stance, so that's good. Okay, well, uh, now it's going to be the Cicada going, and we really do want to take it out before it gets a chance to go. So, and, and that token, uh, maybe we have the Kentaro just go and murder the Cicada before it even gets a chance. I'm listening. We could multi-target, which would be fine. Um, let's move like this. And uh, it gives us some evasion charges. We get some cover. Uh, the Cicada could go around behind us, though, so I have to be careful of that. As a matter of fact, that is a very big concern with the Cicada. So maybe I shouldn't move up so close. We'll move like that. Maybe it'll give me a better chance here. And I think in this regard, I'm going to do two targets. I'm going to do... Um, so she does have multi-target. We're going to do A, Cicada, B, Locust. Uh, the Cicada is going to have the LRM-5 for sure. And the two medium lasers we could have go against the Locust, or we could have one of these SRMs. The SRM would be really deadly against the Locust. I think we have to... Ooh, all those evasion charges, though. Um, I still think that's the right move. We'll put two SRM-6s on that, and then we'll put all the rest on the Cicada. I'm hoping this is enough to kill a Cicada. I mean, this is a lot of firepower. Let's go ahead and fire. Okay, unfortunately, it was not enough. I'm really surprised that Locust is still standing, but uh, it is what it is. So the Cicada is going to get to move. This is really what we don't want to have happen, because now the Cicada is going to be, uh, you know, a lot harder to hit. That was our, our time to do a lot of damage. All right, so now I have to make a choice with my mech. And unfortunately... I don't have multi-target, so I have to do all or nothing on somebody. I think we move up. And the game plan is to fire everything on the spider. Because it's not moved, uh, that will be an easy target for me and we'll be able to take it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I was hoping we would be able to take out the Cicada. Maybe I should have put everything on it to ensure that. Uh, as you can see... My, my chance to hit here is not great with the medium lasers, but as I said, I don't have multi-target, so I can only hit this one guy. So I might as well dump everything into him. This should be a kill, though. Unless we hit a leg. Now, we did knock him down, which is going to make him go into a later initiative phase, which is good for us. So we're going to start back up at the top of the order. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, if you melee a unit, it burns through their evasion. So that's not necessarily a bad call on my end um, to do so. Talk to me. Fortunately, I don't have the range to do that. Uh, another alternative that I could do is I could sensor lock somebody uh, to make them an easier target. That would burn through some of their uh, evasion, too, to be exact. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to try and go after the spider to kill it. And I won't be able to do a cold shot if I do what I'm about to do, but I think we do multi-target again. We make this guy A, we make this guy B. You lose your cold shot. Now, normally when somebody's knocked down, you have a cold shot. We're going to go with B here, and then these are all going to be against the Locust. Uh, we don't necessarily have a great chance to hit, but uh, we don't need a lot of damage here. Hopefully we'll get enough. Let's go ahead and fire away. Hopefully we kill the spider with this, though. Okay, that missed. Yay, we got it. And hopefully this is enough to take this guy out. Not quite, but it's doing more damage to him. Now it's going to be, because it goes back and forth, the spider gets to go here. It could have been the cicada. It was up to the AI to choose who was going to move. I'd rather it go, go with the spider, because at this point, the spider is very heavily damaged. 
and uh, honestly may not have any weapons left. So let's see if I was right with the Kentaro. We're going to go ahead and just punch this uh, this mech here. Um, when we select this, we get to choose where we're going to end up. So I'm going to go here. Those burn through the cover. I don't know if it burns through the evasion charge. I mean, it looks like a 90% chance, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and attack. I'm on the move. This would have been a better chance if we had fired uh, our, our weapons at it. Unfortunately, it's not dead yet. And now it's going to get to move. And it's going to go after my Centurion. Okay. All right. So again, we have to make a choice here. This guy has no evasion charges because he didn't move. So we will be able to take the cicada out fairly easily. As a matter of fact, I'm very tempted to do that. But we can get it on the rear armor. So let's go after this guy and hit him in the rear armor. Try and take him out so he doesn't, you know, cause us more of a delay in killing him. So I see no reason not to fire everything we've got here. Okay, we got the kill. Dine it down the down they go. Enemy mech destroyed. Incoming transmission. Okay. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection. I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units, stand down and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist and you will be fired upon. How's this for resistance? And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. We'll pick things up right where we left off in the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.